Today, we're going to, uh, to speak of, uh, of an artist that I, uh, I love very much. When Tina Maloki was being deported from Mexico, she was considered a una extranjera indeseable. A very beautiful, a pale face framed by two wings of black hair and great eyes that continue to look at us throughout the years.
And in a way, they remain true to that idea. One of the things that we'll discuss in a minute is whether or not they remain living sculptures. And the answer seems to be very much yes. Um, since you went to art school and met in London, you've, you've, you've always lived and worked in London. Could you ever conceive of, of living and, and working anywhere else, even though you've exhibited all around the world? Or is London your place? And it's we don't awesome. live in London. We live, we live in East London. <laughs> We will never move from East London, Jack the Ripper. <laughs> yes, we were so worried, so we asked a friend of ours to write a letter to the head of sculpture, asking whether he would recommend her for a project. And he wrote back, and the, the friend showed us the letter and said, Dear Madam, under no circumstances, have anything to do with these two people. This is what called the other students, we are already outside our school. It was after secondary school that we started to do the so what did you learn at art school? Because a lot of the artists here, I think, some of them will teach, and some won't. Some will learn a lot. Of <laughs>
Brasileiro. Ladies and gentlemen, the Biennale is pleased to welcome the Young Artists for Human Rights Association. And we are very happy to welcome the founder of Artists for Human Rights Association, the Actress for Academy nomination actress, Ms. Anne Archer.